Ladies and gents, welcome back to the studio. You're joining me for another cooking episode today. This one's a little special one for one of our subscribers who requested that we made this uh, Mediterranean salmon foil packet. They've actually got to taste this dish. They enjoyed it and now they'll like to see the process and see how what's the ingredients and how they can make it at home. So we're gonna bring you through that. We're gonna keep it simple and nice so it's easy that you can basically your two-year-old can do it all right <laughs> um but keep them away from the knife of course we're gonna bring you through that we're gonna keep it simple and nice so it's easy that you can basically your two-year-old can do it all right <laughs> um but keep them away from the knife of course so we're gonna start off with some aluminum foil non-stick of course we have our fresh parsley. We have some asparagus. Now it's not needed for this dish because you're gonna cook it separate from the dish and just add it in for a little vegetables um, for you to the side dish, right? You can add anything else that you want. You don't have to have asparagus. It's just what I like and what I prefer right now. And that's about it. But you can add any other thing. You can add some side dish. You can add some rice on the side as well uh, with this. Uh, but it's definitely not needed. So moving on, we're, we have our cherry tomatoes. You can go with a tri -terri cherry tomato if you want it a little bit more colorful. You got some lemon and we got some garlic in the back. We're gonna crush and chop that up. We have salt and pepper and we have some capers, all right? That's basically all you need for this recipe. And we can't forget about, of course, the salmon, all right? So once you have all that set aside and ready to go, I'm going to show you the process of um, chopping everything up, putting the foil packet together and getting that in the oven and roasting it until it's all done. And I'll show you the finished product at the end. So with all that said and done, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gents, so we're going to start off with our asparagus. We're just going to get them nice and evened out. There's a little broken bit right here. I'm just going to get rid of that. Make sure they're nice and even. What you're going to do, you're going to cut off the ends. The ends tend to get a little bit more earthy and a little bit more hard, so you want to get rid of that. Now you got these beautiful pieces. We're going to take those, clean up our areas, of course. After every job, you should always clean your area. And get our little tray that we're going to put it in the oven. Put our pieces on. We're gonna roast them. We're not gonna. You can you cannot blanch them um, al dente style. You can uh, finish them on your pan with a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper, right? But we're we're gonna just gonna roast them in the oven. It's quick and easy with our packets, so we don't have to worry about a little bit more, a lot more extra work and dishes and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and. Get some, got some olive oil. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on those. No, give them a little bit of spin. Make sure it's all coated. Then you're gonna season with a little bit of salt. And a little bit of black pepper. And you're gonna set that aside until you're ready to bake it with your packet. All right, so next up, we're gonna take a little bit of cherry tomatoes. And we're going to slice those right in half. Just like that. Just in half. You can always switch it up too. You don't have to go straight lengthwise. You can go sideways. Give it a little different uh, aesthetic. Just like that. 
and set those aside. Nice clean down. Next we got our garlic. Of course we're just gonna just gonna chop them. Mince, I should say. I'm gonna use them for our salmon a little bit. And we're just gonna crush one and definitely just put it in our packet as well. I tap crushed uh, my garlic just a little bit because it's easier to get the skin off of it. So one we're gonna save for our salmon package. We're just gonna cut it in a little bit of chunks. Right, just like that. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna take two cloves, crush them all the way, and we're just gonna mince them. Now that's all chopped up, let's put that aside as well. Clean up your area, get ready to chop the next thing. You're gonna take your lemon, some wedges. That's all you're gonna need, some wedges. And then you can cut a little bit more for the finished dish. If you want a little bit more on top, okay? And just put that aside as well. Now you're gonna take your parsley, just cut a little bit off, bunch that up, and you're just gonna chop it. Now you don't have to go as fine as me, but I was just basically trained to chop my parsley in a pit particular way and it's just retrograde in my brain to do so so you could just rough chop yours you don't have to do it like I'm doing it right now first clean up your area all right guys so you're gonna need a little bit of oregano um, also for your salmon, but unfortunately I do not have any oregano in my kitchen at the moment But what I do have is some um, organic Italian seasoning, which I'm just gonna use because that's what we have on hand. Sometimes you don't have the right ingredients in your kitchen So you just have to multitask. All right, so that's some Italian seasoning oh, it Smells so good You know what? I'm gonna put some on my asparagus. All right, so moving on to our salmon. Looks good. Once again, we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil. We're just gonna coat the salmon a little bit of that on both sides. Just rub it in. Also, just a reminder, you wanna remove the skin from this dish because we're using like a moist uh, cooking method and when you do that, if you do that with skin on, all you're gonna leave left off with, left off with is uh, basically some soggy salmon skin on your product. So nobody wants that, get rid of it. If you're pan, pan frying the salmon or something and you do like salmon skin, Definitely keep it on, but for this recipe, we won't need it. All right. So now that we have our olive oil, we're gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. You don't wanna go too crazy with the salt because we're gonna also have capers and some other stuff that gives a little bit of salt content. So if you want your dish to be balanced, you don't want to go too crazy on that front. A little bit more salt and pepper on that side. We're gonna have 
add our oregano, <laughs> or should I say our Italian seasoning, but yeah, oregano. We're gonna add it on just the one side for now. Gonna add a touch of parsley. Gonna add a touch of that chopped garlic. And now, we are gonna construct our little packet. All right, so put that aside for a second. We're gonna get our foil. Just make sure the foil is big enough that you can wrap your salmon in. I'm gonna take a little garlic, add it to our sheet. I'm gonna take our salmon. We're gonna take a little bit of our cherry tomatoes, add it to our, on top. Take a wedge of lemon. We're gonna just squeeze a little bit of that on top of the salmon. I say two wedges should be good. The more flavor, the more the better. We're gonna hit that with a little bit more olive oil. And last but not least, this is where our capers come in. Take a little bit of capers, add that to on top as well. Now instead of fresh oregano, you can, I mean dried oregano, you can also use fresh. I mean after the cooking process it won't look so great but I'll give you a lot better flavor than the dry. So now we have everything in our foil. We're gonna seal it, right? For the cooking process, make sure everything's sealed and all the juices can get trapped inside it. And all that aroma and flavor will not escape once you open it. So we're just gonna fold both sides. Gonna fold a little bit, fold a little bit. Just keep folding and both sides until we get a nice little little purse. And basically, that's what you want. All right. So we're gonna put that on a tray, or we're just gonna put it in a pan. All right. Make sure that's nice and sealed. We're gonna finish our next uh, salmon, but we're gonna cut through that so we're not wasting you guys time. We're just gonna, you guys know the process from the first one. We're gonna put our oven to about, I say 375, and it shouldn't take that long to cook this. It should take like 15, 20 minutes, give or take, and the salmon should be done, but let's get to it. Alright ladies and gents, um, there's one thing I forgot to let you guys know to add into the packet. We also have some olives, some black olives that you want to throw in with it. And all these flavors are just going to come together so nicely. Look, it's not even cooked yet and it's looking all delicious, alright? Of course, if you don't like um, olives, you can always omit the olives, right? Just uh, play around with it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Alright. Our packet is finished. Let's open it up and see what we got. So that was about 20 minutes. Ooh. Open that up some more so you can see. Let's bring you down. Oh, the juices. All right, so that's it. Um, stay tuned for the plating of uh, this dish, and that's it. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, please like, subscribe, and if you want to do more recipes like this that's from you, the subscriber, please consider joining our Patreon or becoming our YouTube uh, premium member where you can suggest uh, more dishes for us to cook on this channel right and we will pick from your list and make it once a month for just you the subscribers all right so until then we'll see you guys on the next one have a good one